Hello friends, and welcome back to my channel, my name is Maltonio. Today, I'm going to see if you guys can guess what game we're playing, although you can probably tell by the link, uh, not the link in the description, the, uh, whatever that thing is called, where you select the game. This game is personally one of my favorites from my childhood, and we're about to re-experience this together, because that's what we do as friends. We experience our childhoods together. Anyways, let's get started. Or I'll watch this again. Okay, there we go. Now, we're gonna go... This one was personally my favorite because I was a gamer as a kid. I liked the fact that he was playing a video game. So we're gonna start a new game together. We're gonna get some backstory here. Yeah, but this game, it brings back so many great memories. Uh, it brings, reminds me of when my dad and I used to play. And he was always better at it than I was. I would always just screw around. But I always like to pretend that I knew what I was doing. Oh, I probably should be doing that. But, you know what? I'm going to start reading after this. Yeah, sure. Now she's making noise. I shouldn't read it. But, Let's see what's going on here. Uh, but there is a screw. <laughs> Every boyfriend's mistake. <laughs> so this game will probably just be mostly introduction. Um, I already know how to play. I mean, I still remember from when I was a kid. But I think there's some intro stuff. I mean, like, how to, the controls work and everything, so... We're gonna see how well this works. And, oh, that broom was always one of my favorite things. I always wanted to just take it from her. But apparently that's not a thing you can do. There's little Tootie. Freaking adorable as normal. And bottles. I miss bottles. Yeah, that sounds like my little sister talking about me. And there I am. I'm usually like this, I sleep. I don't have a bird. I want a bird, though. If I could get, like, a parrot, that'd be awesome. Well, she's kind of defeating the purpose. If she thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks. But stealing isn't fair. Yeah, she always, yeah, Granny always had that, uh, rhyming scheme going on. Yeah. Banjo is just like me, he sleeps through anything. There was one time, there was actually an earthquake here where I live, and I slept through it. Didn't even notice. There was an earthquake. Didn't care. Hmm. There's trouble. Oh no. Pretty much about stereotypical witch lap. Okay, so this is actually me getting to control it now. So, very, oh, nope, I can't do anything yet. Let's see what Bottles has to say. I know you, Bottles. <laughs> I kind of want to see Grun Grunty um, 
always does really weird sassy things, but Kazooie's is always sassier, so I wanted to have him I want them to have a sass off. That'd be cool. So we'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. I wonder where it's at. Probably not that mountain that looks just like a witch. It's probably not though. I can almost guarantee it now. Or say if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. You know what, just for you guys, I'm gonna go through with it, so... If we'd like some help, Bottles, what do we do? So, we're gonna have to go around and find all of his uh, little helpful tips. Although, I already, as I said, I already know what to do. But, maybe you guys are following me at home, you never know. Okay, so here's the first mo uh, Mole's Bottle Hill. What? Mole's Bottle Hill. Bottle, mo Bottle's Mole Hill. I can't talk. Press B on this hill to talk. Hello. <laughs> Start with the camera controls. They're on the yellow C buttons. Hmm. Hard to keep. Actually, I forgot that was a thing. See, summon sass. So, press the C buttons to do the camera. Press the R button to keep it behind you. That's actually a really nice feature. I completely forgot that was a thing. But let's see what he has to say this time. So press... Oh, I can't move! I'm like Michael Jackson. But I not at the same time, so jump. Come on, feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? He doesn't have any hands. I mean, I look silly. I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. Eh, it's not necessarily how it works. He just gives you a little bit more air. Double jump immediately gets to jump again. So, not until you learn this one first. You must stand like this. Look, wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin. <laughs> He's not grinning. Hold Z, then press A for the mighty flap flip jump. So press Z, which is underneath, and press the A button and do this. If you actually hold Z, I know you can uh, keep him there and it kind of has a parachute effect, but only a little bit. But, okay, good. Now I can actually do some jumps. So let's see. Nope, we gotta do the mighty flip flap jump. These become major components. Oh. Collect six levels to increase your energy bar. So, yeah, I'm not sure if you saw there was a health meter. And you can actually get that increased by collecting all those. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Hmm. Oh, I actually... The swimming mechanics in this is... Ridiculous. I've actually died in this because of the swimming mechanics. So, swim around, and then press B to dive. And press... Press A to, like, kick his legs, and it's a slower one. You press and hold B, it just does it for you, and you can just swim really fast. But what I also don't like is that there will be some places where there'll be just a hole in the water, and if you try and go through that hole, and you miss it, and you just brush up against the edge of it, it actually pushes you back down underneath, which can come and bite you in the rear end later. But, so, let's see, where's the next molehill? Caesar. Oh, yeah, I need to learn, like, basic attacks. Which is B, which would be punch. Let's see. 
Hey, Banjo. I hope you're not afraid of heights. <laughs> yeah. Do a treat. Then use the control stick to climb up or down. I thought about doing that, but I thought maybe not, so... We'll find plenty of other things. Yeah, there'll be trees, there'll be pipes, maybe even other things. I don't remember. Trees, mostly. So... Wait, for press and hold R? Doesn't do anything. Bottles, you lied to me. Ooh, there's a thing back here. Extra life. Okay, thank you, little trophy man. Yeah, I might go through a bunch of. Oh, I can't do that quite yet. Forgot that's a trick I have to learn where Kazooie can carry me on her back. Okay, here we go. Here's where we learn attacks. No, this is where we learn to do the beak smash. My beak barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. <laughs> At least I've got some legs, short stuff. <laughs> 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 hmm. Sorry. <laughs> There's actually a reference to the next game. Uh, he gets brought up as the, uh, he kind of replaces bottles. It's like his cousin or something. Ooh, a honeycomb. I wonder if you probably get, you'll probably get all six before you finish this intro. Okay, now I get to learn how to do basic attacks, because this is where the carrots are going to be. Now let me know if it's getting annoying that I'm just kind of predicting what's going on, and if I should just kind of experience this with you guys. Um, let's see, what is it? I must know. Banjo. Punch him? Yeah, Try another. Hey, I want some moves. I now try my fearsome forward roll. Hmm. Not yet. You know what, I'm gonna stop predicting what's gonna go on the game. Well, not predicting, but telling you guys before what actually happens. We'll experience this, is, at least as close together as we can. So, you just move and press the B button to roll. But you feel sad. Yeah, well, that's your problem. It's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. Oh. I love her so I said this. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm so yawny. I'm not really tired, but... Hello! So you jump and press B and she does that. Because enemies just poop honeycombs. That's how it works in real life, you know. I forgot if I press A, he yeah, talks really fast. Nope. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's see. I'll get to the top of the mountain. And I'm probably going to end that episode there, just because I don't want these videos to get too long. Or maybe they're not long enough. You guys have to tell me. Um, but we'll get up into the mountain, and then I'll, uh, I'll, fit, I'll end the video there. I'll probably do more videos tonight. Ooh! Oh. Let's pick that up. Oh, come on. 
yeah. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. I love the music in this game. It's phenomenal. Um, I'm just, I'm really disappointed that Nintendo sold Rareware. It's just, it's sad. They had so much potential with Banjo Kazooie, and they made references in the second game to a third game. And it just, it was Banjo 3E, but they just never got to it. But, we fixed the bridge. Yeah, but there'll be other moves that we'll learn in the game. Like, my personal favorite. You know, I'll leave that as a secret. Unless you've already played this game. In which case, you already know what it is. But... <laughs> how I... F Pretty much how I feel every time I visit my mom at work. She works as a computer teacher in middle school, and the toilets there are so tiny. The stalls are ridiculous. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch! I'm tired of being an ugly witch! Um, let's see what's going on with this. Angel, help. I don't know why he doesn't just do that right then and there and why I get all this time. There he is, the fun begins! My tricks and traps will see who wins! Anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to playing this game again, so just let me know in the comments, and I will see you friends later.